and the experience that I come with is from the clicks OER development and uh, we have worked with communicative English language teaching and I've met some of you through that and I can see a lot of you uh, on the chat as well talking about good evening and and some of you your names I recognize so thank you very much uh, what we what I would like to take you through is this uh, element in within clicks English which is a which is an OER that you can use even outside. Of course, uh, even the OER that is there in Flix English is something that you can definitely use. Uh, for instance, one of the things that is very much available is if we click on, and I'm going to take you through this. So this is the site. And everything on this site is absolutely free and open for anyone and everyone to use. So uh, this would be an aspect that helps a lot. So this is all free to use. Uh, in this, within these levels, uh, some of the things that the Telangana English teachers have definitely used is the communicative English language teaching platform and some of you have been the resource persons who have introduced it to Telangana as such. So uh, definitely that element is useful. Uh, we have a lot of story-based lessons and we think that stories are very important. And I know that as language teachers, all of us love the fact that stories are there for us to be able to share and utilize. So. Uh, these are important lessons that we can uh, you know get from they talk about argumentation they talk about lessons etc but what a tool that i i find very exciting and that i find that a lot of other teachers like as well is the other than the fact that there would be all these stories and they can you know we learn together uh, there can be activities where there are warm up and uh, story time and they have question making open story uh, they can record their voices so it's a very listening and uh, speaking oriented session so i'm just introducing very small aspects of it and they have they have used a lot of other oers and open source tools and we do think that that is very important for you to be able to access one second i'm just going to take you through uh, sorry. Yeah. So, in addition to this, I'm going to take you through the activities of uh, what one OER might be able to do, right? So, in this, you have an applications, and within applications, again, all of these are free applications, but. Um, one of them happens to be the open story tool. We worked on this in collaboration with the MIT uh, unit. And sure, uh, we have worked with this with the uh, aspect of MIT unit. And we are very proud of this. Uh, so this is done based on field trials. In fact, we had come to Telangana in 2016 and we were told you know, certain aspects of how the useful uh, tool can be. And this was where uh, we had been given feedback. So initially we had a lower character limit and then we were told, no, you must have more characters. And initially we allowed for 20 seconds per slide. We were told you must increase it. So it's very useful and easy to use tool. I can upload a picture it gets uploaded i can record something and i can also upload anything that i want to record now since i'm speaking on this phone nothing will get recorded but it's a very simple useful tool that we can have and you can type in any language that you want it can be in telugu in tamil in whatever language you need and you can increase the duration of the seconds to up to 40, any, any seconds up to 40, you know, 21 seconds or whatever. So you can change all of that and you can save the slide and you can duplicate it by clicking on this 
copy picture. So it gets duplicated and you can save the slideshow and it's a very simple use, easy to use tool that they can, you know, click on and play and it moves on to the next slide. Why is this something that we recommend is that most of the time when we talk about students, we want students to be able to use their imagination in the English language classroom, we would like students to use imagination and that imagination is not useful if i mean is is just not happening if we only tell them to repeat the story so we would like them to have the stories that they can repeat we would like them to you know be able to move the slides up and down maybe even if you create a story and share with them and they could recreate it there were many, many teachers who have given us very many instructions on how we can utilize these tools in different ways and formats. And I'm going to go back to my own slides to, uh, you know, take you through that element once again. Sorry. Sorry. On the phone, it is slightly going to be moving back and forth, and I apologize for this. So uh, in the clicks OER, there is definitely this tool, and it is... I think partly because of this tool and partly because of what we have done with maths and science and the focus that we have given actually in Clicks English for English listening and speaking. And that is what this is. They can record their voices. They can uh, listen to what they have said. And very often one of the things that I find among students is that when they are talking, they don't know what mistakes they have made. Uh, so one of the questions that we used to get asked, and I'm sure a lot of you may have as well, is do you need to use this tool? No, I don't think you need to use this tool. What I am talking about is the affordances that this uh, kind of use may have. We wanted to keep them in one place, but you can definitely use anything like a, um, a, a a PowerPoint presentation or anything of that sort. It's just a little bit more difficult for them to record, find the recording device and all of it. But of course they can use any kind of software, any kind of things that will enable them to use this. So one element of what, uh, why we recommend such tools as opposed to say a PowerPoint is that I'm sure a lot of you have come across these notions of uh, you know zoom is a proprietary software and that uh, you know there are these problems and they are making money of us and they are accumulating data uh, and they are selling it to others etc open educational resources are things that you don't need to uh, think three twice about because whoever has created it has allowed you to use it in any other way that you want. You can change it, you can manipulate it. Uh, the codes are generally available and we are still working to make this code available, but you have other softwares like Scratch. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, uh, Vinayda Raju and Lakshman and Sampat sir and all of them will have many more sessions planned for you uh, around a lot of these softwares that you can use free of cost. Uh, there is a difference between free of cost and there is a difference between something that is open. Open is something that is not only free of cost, it is also that it has been released for public consumption in a way that uh, is open to use in any way whatsoever. So it, it, it's not limited in that sense. You can develop it, you can take it and develop it on your own. So we have tied up with NROER and all of it and seeing how we can place our softwares there open for everyone to use. Uh, so this is one way, right? It is nice to use stories. And if you notice this picture that I have out here is a very interesting one because these are stories again that we have collaborated with Pratham Story, Pratham Book Story Weaver.org. And they are uh, also free, they are absolutely like us, uh, uh, free for use. Uh, they uh, enable us to use their pictures free of cost. And I'm going to try and showcase that also to you so that you can see how easy it is to use their stories, to create those stories and 
look at it. So it is called Story Weaver. And I will uh, definitely share all these links with y'all. So it is storyweaver.org.in. And once uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So they have a reading program. They have read-alongs. They also now have something where you can call in and give a missed call and stories will be told. I think we shared this on some of our cops, but uh, they, you can give a missed call to a number and the stories are available right now in Tamil, uh, sorry, in Kannada, Marathi, Hindi, and English only. Telugu is not there yet. Uh, but those are things that they are planning to do. So they have some of their stories on YouTube. They have a Marathi channel that's coming up. They have uh, certain characters. They have created stories on pandemic, etc. All of this is free to use, right? School stories. They have thematically organized a lot of stories. And we have used all of this from their site. So a lot of the pictures that you will see in Clicks English is from their side because they are also in the open story, open uh, education space. And so uh, you can create your own stories. And that is one of the things that is uh, one of the best that I like is that you can uh, create. So if I click on this element of, sorry, if I click on create, it enables me to log in and I can just log in and create a story. So I can edit, I can translate and I can uh, make my own stories and I can even, uh, you know, and the names and credits come in. So for instance, uh, those are things that you can explore. So this is one of the other aspects that we thought that we will uh, give to our to y'all to share to experience and uh, you're free and welcome to utilize these tools to create more and more stories uh, yeah so this was a cool initiative and we have a lot more coming up so one of the things that we have is an uh, edcast and podcasts and stuff like that. So those are things that we are using and everything is free to use and you can go to our site and check. So I don't want to plug it in too much. Um, I don't know how often we use what we think of a course. So I will be asking you some, I mean, I, I would like to have feedback from you, but a few things that we talk about as a course is Typically in education, we think of, in especially language, we think of a course as something that enables us to have a discussion, enables us to have a dialogue. I can come into a class and teach language without, without a textbook, but I need to have something to go with it. So we, have, we had created a few courses, and this is again something that is absolutely open now and free for anyone to join and look at. We have taken away some of the interactives. Uh, so these are elements that we have taken in order to ensure that the uh, courses are available for everyone to utilize. So NCT students are now currently using these courses. Uh, well, just to showcase there are other links and so um, what what we generally like doing with these kinds of open educational resources is to try and see what else can be possible right so for instance if i go back to a uh, clicks english uh, this module of open story tool a question that a lot of people will ask is, what else can I use? And you can use so many things. You can use your mobile recorder and you can ask students to record their voices and uh, try and see how their speaking improves. You can have very small and simple exercises where you ask them to read a, you know, a particular line in a newspaper in three different tones. It's a wonderful exercise to do and it's very easy. 
where I just say mm, the lockdown, the lockdown has been extended for two weeks. Okay, now guess my, I, I would like you to um, type this in. What, what was my mood? What was my mood when I said this? The lockdown was ex has been extended for two weeks. I, I'm going to wait for you to type. Surprised. Surprised, yeah. Surprising or something. So now if I wanted to say this as huh, the lockdown has been extended for two weeks. Now what is my... Typing. Yeah, yeah, please type. Uh, frustrated, yes, yes, exhausted. <laughs> I think all of us are uh, to some extent, yes, relaxed. That is so uh, surprising. I restless, frustrated, sad. There could be so many worried, yes, definitely. That could be one of the things. Uh, and if I so, if you take the same sentence and you make the students take the same sentence, and it could just be one sentence where they are uh, trying to say it in three different ways. So happy, it has a high tone, but they want to say, or surprise in that sense, that happy in that sense, if I say, oh, I passed, you know, and there will be a smile in the face and it's loud. Uh, and sad, I passed. Uh, I don't know why someone would be sad to say I passed, but you could be. and. Um, and it's, you know, someone who's angry about it, like, I passed. So it's, it's in those kinds of questions that we actually are focusing upon what is useful in uh, language learning. And students can do this and intonate. And many of them are so frightened of speaking in English that these very simple exercises speak just one sentence in three different tones and, you know, uh, do these kinds of exercises. They listen to themselves and they improve within 30 days. Uh, and, and we have seen the results of this with our students, with our uh, youngsters and all of it. So they just need to be consistent in trying to do some kinds of exercises and intonate and feel a little bit confident in speaking. Your pronunciation, etc. can be anywhere. So the idea was that can I use something where, and we have gone to Rajasthan and all of these places and where students were very reluctant to type. So we said, okay, can you create a picture story? And they created wonderful, beautiful picture stories, searching for all these pictures from Pratham Story Weaver and other sources, etc. cetera. Um, and they organized them like a comic strip. And so these are kinds of things that we can try and do to create an insight imagination. Then we can ask them, okay, you don't want to type. Can you speak? Can you say something? So they were ready to say, they used English in Rajasthan, in Mizoram, they have used a lot of English, but they were ready to type, speak into it. Because they could hear themselves and correct themselves, they were very uh, happy to, you know, try and judge um, how this would be. Uh, and, and, uh, they primarily wanted that. They wanted to see whether, you know, my first take can, should be a safe learning space. And so they wanted to be able to correct themselves and they have worked at it. And we have some wonderful stories that you can go to our YouTube channel and see some of them uh, that we had got consent for their, them to be uploaded. So these are kinds of things that you can do. Another one, and I am very conscious of the time, uh, I, I wanted to keep at least five minutes for questions. So I will go to the last one. This is not an open educational resource, but it is a free educational resource. I don't know if you can see this too clearly, but this is something. Uh, so, okay, I have a question. Uh, yes, um, uh, I will give you uh, a certain other examples, definitely Rajesh Kumar Pandeji, but I will just take one more minute for this. 
this is a very easy comic strip to create. I created this for one of the courses that I'm designing right now. And it is actually created at this comic, makebelievescomics.com, which if you notice, and I will try and expand it, it just goes here. And if you see this makebelievescomics.com, it is, it's free to use. You can, uh, again, create all of these devices, the pictures, etc. you will have to use what they have, but I think it's okay. And we've had some students that we tried them out with and they found it quite easy to use and manipulate. So there are many, many free open resources and honestly speaking, 40 minutes is too less. So, uh, um, yes, um, uh, they, so they can use their imagination and create, they can use a simple mobile recording device and speak into it and practice. They can have these kinds of conversations using free technology and now definitely will share the links. Uh, uh, maybe even on the chat, I will try and share the links. Uh, yeah. So, uh, now I will, I know we have just about 10 minutes. Okay, so uh, I'll just show you the site uh, for Make Believes Comics also. There are many, many more that you can utilize. But yeah. So this is a very simple one you can create. It is free to use. You can also, you don't have to register and log in, but if you do, then it is just ask for your email ID and uh, you just need to click here and start creating. So it allows you to create whatever comics that you want and you can create a comic strip and that's exactly how I did it. I just created a comic strip by selecting certain, sorry, by selecting the panels. So this was it. That's all that I created by using a lot of these panels. Uh, if I wanted to create a new one, I can, you know, create a new one from this uh, also. So if you notice, all that I need to do is move these images, etc. Okay, I don't want to <laughs> uh, do this on my cell phone, but yeah, one second. Yeah. So what it has and it allows for is uh, these movable so if i click on move and i go here and i move something i can move it up and down if i scale it i can scale it to bigger or smaller if i want to uh, you know flip it around so for instance the a becomes the flip i can flip that around and i can bring back to front uh sorry I can also flip things. I did something that is wrong, but okay, that I think is fine. Uh, and I can also flip things. So I can make this woman, uh, you know, change sides. And all of these are things that I can use. So again, students can use story making. Students can create this and uh, utilize recording devices. A very simple thing that I have I have also found very useful for students to be able to do is to be able to uh, use something like a screencast recorded on their cell phone and do you, do you write? Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I think I have five, five more minutes. So <laughs> we will do that. Uh, no, we will we'll finish it, don't worry. Uh, it is not running out. I'm very, very, very conscious of the time. So uh, you can take this screencaster and you can record, you know. So some things that the students can do is utilize these resources and they can uh, even record for themselves uh, using the mobile phone itself. So they can create their stories on a PPT and record on it, especially with the cell phone, it's very easy. Um, one of the devices I use is DU Recorder, but there are many available. And so this is just one suggestion. And now I'm very conscious. Yes, uh, what is free to you modify and reuse? Uh, so uh, the comic, Make Believe Comics, yes, that is definitely uh, uh, you know, free to modify and reuse. Uh, free to use and uh, share. 
and on the day uh, it is a free resource it's not in uh, it's it's copyrighted but it is free to use and share alike in a sense they don't ask anything for that matter pratham story weaver uh, pratham book story weaver is definitely cc by 4.0 uh, all you need to do is give attribution and ours is also the same um, it's cc by 4.0 you can modify you can tweak you can do anything you want with it so all of this is fine um if you had certain questions i think one of the people who was wanting to share is i think rajesh kumar pandit uh, who had a question who had something to share um do you do you want to share whatever you had hello uh, rajesh kumar sir yes. so do yes, you have sir. any question uh, please uh, ask ask the speaker yes sir ma'am uh, good afternoon it was a good session but uh, okay but 40 minutes is a very poor time ma'am <laughs> okay yeah, okay will, i think yeah okay Short rajesh sweet is a nice yeah, i i am coming to the question ma'am uh, as you yeah. have said in the three different tone we we particularly yeah. try in our class she is beautiful it's a very aesthetic tone she is beautiful hmm and she is beautiful yes yes the falling tone the rising tone the aesthetic tone it also makes very interesting to the learners yes absolutely and so uh, um it did, yeah yes ma'am you very said. nice no 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 you were saying something sir please go ahead yeah. So, so you, you, we can transact to with the learners in this way, so that they can focus on the elocution, accent, and others. This was my view. Absolutely. So, sir, so one of the questions I had is how, in this online teaching and learning processes, uh, during these times, how will we be able to uh, make students engage with the class? Right. So, since we are not able to do this. can we ask them to monitor their own voices and so maybe they they may not understand rising intonation falling intonation but they understand emotions very well so it's easy to tell them say, use in a an angry tone use in a sad tone and then ask their family members to guess what is my tone just what i did in this session you know and then say oh i did not i wanted to say that i was happy uh you thought i was surprised oh so let me see how i can make you recognize it so then they slowly learn how to intonate properly without perhaps knowing the uh proper nuances that's one of the kinds of exercises that we can perhaps enable them to do uh, at home sitting at home and trying it out uh so those were reasons why because now they can hear themselves otherwise when they speak it they don't realize why it sounds different to others uh that was one of the exercises but yes your what you are pointing out of the rising and into falling intonation is very very important and this is exactly what those uh kinds are um can we Thank embed codes on shared stories on a Yeah, sorry. Yes, yeah, so I sorry. have. Uh, there are a few questions. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry for interruption here. Three uh, participants have raised their hands. First, Elin Rani, uh, Madam, can you ask? Uh, do you have any question yeah, to yeah. speaker? Yes. Our Galaxy J6 uh, Plus and uh, FD 2C0451. <laughs> three three people have raised hands. Please, uh, okay, respond yeah. quickly. Because for all, the, all those people who are chatting, yeah, for all those people who are chatting, I'm just chatting going to chat in my answers. Just only one minute is left to uh, okay, uh, two minutes more for a discussion. Yeah. Please respond quickly. Uh, so, uh, okay. All right. Continue, Anusha. Uh, <laughs> one more home assignment. <laughs> yeah. uh here mallik uh, walluri posted one thing that uh, i requested to share the links we will certainly collect i'm doing that uh, anusha will certainly uh, share the links no problem next uh, it's okay yeah so now i'm doing that uh, i assume yeah. i assume uh, no participant has any question regarding this uh, <laughs> program uh, and now i request our state president mr tv rao 
to okay um, share uh, his uh, opinion about the program and uh, uh, say the vote of thanks good evening uh, all and uh, anusha ma'am yes uh, thank you for uh, joining us and uh, enlightening our people uh, in using oer and uh, it would be definitely helpful to us uh, in our teaching learning process our teachers make use of it definitely particularly the story weaver that what you have told uh, is very useful back to school yeah. the children will be very much uh, they will be lethargic and uh, they are not interested to come to school then the teachers can make use of uh, uh, the story weaver and uh, comics and all that and uh, can attract the children towards learning they inspire and they motivate the children towards learning uh, thank you one uh, once again and please share the links uh, with us and uh, yes i request you to give support to our uh, elta in further sessions also thank you